And just as I promised, my assistant arrives. You've brought a gift for our sponsor, right? Greeting, Auxiliary. Is your friend correct? Did you bring an offering? Fire, Patuo. Tremendous. And you managed to keep all ten fingers. I'm impressed. Thank you. Now, to the matter of your citizenship, you're clearly a capable warrior. But in the Clockwork City, mental precision is of paramount importance. A number of outsiders have gone missing in recent weeks. I fear someone might be abducting them, or worse. But I have no proof. I spoke to your friend Naramo, and he insists you can gather the evidence I need. Succeed, and I'll sponsor you all. Try to keep this inquiry quiet, all right? In the Clockwork City, even a small creak in the gears can draw curious eyes. Provost Varuni Arvel, ranking disquisitor in the Congress of Calibration. Before you ask, yes, I'm a bit young for such a tenurial position. Fortunately, Lord Set established a true meritocracy here. One day, I'll get a chance to thank him. Bet. No, Lord Set's far too busy. He only recently emerged from seclusion in the Cargatum Centralis. He's addressed the Congress, but I haven't had an opportunity to present myself. You should be thoroughly prepared when you meet a god, right? Of course. Lord Set, known to many as Sotha Seal, is the father of curiosity. By his word, we create, perfect, and overcome. He cares for all of us, just as a clockmaker cares for each gear and spring. Every piece matters, no matter how small. I do a lot of reading. It's all there in the sermons. Some people think he's aloof, callous even. But I disagree. He stands with us in a way that Vivek and Almalexia never could and he'll guide us all to a better world. Very little, which is more problematic than it sounds. Any loose cog can carry out an abduction. It doesn't take a criminal mastermind to throw someone down a drain pipe. What worries me is that none of it was recorded by factotums or sentry coils. We record what happens everywhere. Honestly, I don't know how you exodromals do without. You lose so much in Tamriel. Knowledge, memories, and you must argue incessantly. Everything that happens here is fact, documented and verifiable. Exodromal, sorry. I forget how strange our words sound to foreign ears. Anyone who enters the Clockwork City from the outside world is known as an Exodromal, since they come from beyond the Celestia Drome, the glass sphere you'd call our sky. I know. But secrets are the purview of Lord Set, and Lord Set alone. I have nothing to hide. The sermons tell us that only the disassembled engine can be scrubbed and made clean. Knowledge requires light, openness, collaboration, you see? So, ready to do a bit of sleuthing? I'm confident that we can find this elusive evidence but it will require some skullduggery, breaking and entering, to be specific. Ready for the details? Varuni suspects that someone destroyed city records. But if my study of Dwema ruins has taught me anything, it's that nothing is ever truly destroyed. You just need to look in the right place. Here, that place is the Depository Documatus. Sneaking into the Depository is impossible for us. But Sotha Seal's clockwork automata enter and exit the structure constantly. I discovered a way to control one such automata, a device known as a skivaton. I am sure you're duly impressed. No, you are. I will provide technical assistance and keep an eye out for prying eyes, both mechanical and organic. Head to the depository. I'll meet you there after I've wrapped up matters with our new benefactor. If you have questions, you should ask them now. Once we begin our investigation, we'll have little time to dawdle. As Varuni said, everything here generates a record. From what I gather, those records constantly pass through the depository documatus. When you say it like that, it does sound daunting. It's true. 
The evidence we seek drifts through vast oceans of information. Luckily, these skivatons seem very capable when it comes to sorting and passing. I guess we'll just have to find out. I equipped the skivaton with a number of key words and concepts to help it sort out extraneous documents. Have some faith. I've extracted information from tonal vaults and Dwemer orreries. Sifting through city records pales in comparison. Honestly, they're not all that dissimilar from the Dwemer devices I usually tinker with. Sothasil clearly learned a great deal from the dwarves. They use an unfamiliar tonal dialect, as it were. But the basic principles remain the same. We will employ a very simple control device. How to explain it? The Skeevatons send and receive signals from other clockwork automatons constantly. This device allows us to drown out all the noise, making our voices the only sound it hears. As I said before, those tarnished redundants down in the slums are no concern of yours. Constructed the constabulary team. a future for you. Cut a back total with delusions of grandeur told her fortune. Do you we have a strong signal. Now, to find Varuni's evidence. Go straight, then left. The central depository must be on a different floor. I'm seeing a lot of interference. Proceed carefully. We can't risk damaging the Skiverton's data collector. Expertly done. That grate should lead to the central depository and our evidence.
assistant, direct the Skibaton to the exit. Then meet me there to examine the evidence. For you. Because a back totem with delusions of grandeur told her fortune. Do you really believe that? What do you want? She believed it. Why can't you see? All right. Let me see what you found. Yes, I believe these recordings correspond to the dates of the disappearances. There's something more. Look here. The last person to access the records was a BAL-167. Hmm. <sighs> Circumstantial at best. We might already have a lead. I shared Varuni's concerns with Kirath shortly after you left the Basilica, and she insisted on looking into the matter herself. She cited Constable Baldon as a person of interest. His office should be southwest of here. I have important business back in Bardenfell. I can't be late. I need to leave. Ah, there you are. Done playing with Naramo's wind-up toys? I think I'm onto something. I did a little asking around. Word is, Constable Baldan will sponsor anyone as long as they can pay. Where they go after he takes their gold, that's anybody's guess. Luckily, we're here to sort it out. Here, take this memory stone. I surveyed the building. Someone left the door to Baldan's storage loft unlocked. It should provide a great view of his office. Climb up there and wait. When I offer a bribe, you record the conversation on that memory stone. Then we've got him. All right, Baldur. I've got your gold. Will you sponsor me for citizenship? Oh, I'll take your offer. But sponsorship? Not for the living, you tarnished scum. The living what? Do it. Well, what are you idling for? Gather up the gold and dump her with the others. We don't want anyone finding our latest visitor. There you are. Naramo said you'd be around here somewhere. Have you seen Kirith? Is she with you? He what? How could she? We have to rescue her. You don't have any idea where they took her, do you? Yes, of course. I'll get help. Maybe I could even put together some kind of tonal locator. Bah! Not enough time. What would Kirith do? She would investigate. Yes. Talk to the people in Slagtown. They know practically everything about... I'll get the others. You hurry off to Slagtown. That's what the locals call the slums in the northeast corner of the fortress. I must admit, I was surprised to find a tenement like that in Sothisil's holy city. Then again, practically everything here has come as a surprise. How dare you, Hamid? Your mother wanted a better future for you. Because of back to ah, oil those ankles and keep walking, Green Heel. This one has nothing to say to you. Beh. You outsiders are all the same. Cutting into the queues, poaching our salvage, sneering and putting on airs. You're no better than us. And so you prove my point. Always trouble, always violence, and poor Saiba is caught in the middle. This on you. Baldan probably threw your friend into the fundament. 
a maze beneath the city. If you go after her, neither of you will come out again. Any alchemists looking for some gold? Threw you in here too, did they? I knew I couldn't be the only one Constable Baldan got the drop on. You're right, we should. And I could, but not yet. I met another one of Baldan's victims, a Khajiit named Lankin. He's been scraping it out down here, but he's no warrior. I told him I'd get him out. Unfortunately, we got separated. That's the spirit. I managed to yank this sword out of a corpse nearby. It's not much, but you don't need a sharp edge to deal with these factotums. Just a heavy swing and a lot of patience. You ready? Let's get moving. The body's far too old. Let's keep looking. Hiding place, but no Lankin. We should keep looking. Another empty camp. 
Damn. He must be here somewhere. Must be close. Lankin, we're getting you out of here. Friend Kirith, that moon's above. Please, let's leave this dungeon place. Suppose you found anything of interest down there. Enough. I'm glad to see you weren't lying, Grand Marcus. That bastard, Baldan, threw me into the fundament. <sighs> Ridiculous. I've never seen this woman in my life. Liar! You tossed this one in as well. This Rainer Vanos made some very bold claims. If you have evidence of Constable Baldan's crimes, I suggest you produce it. Huh. You're more resourceful than you look. Little wonder Devaith chose you as his companion. Set knows he needs the help. I'll hold Baldon under guard until I've had an opportunity to review the evidence. Lucian, I'd like to ask the constable a few questions when we return to the Basilica. Don't trouble yourself, Aruni. You know how persuasive I can be. I do. That's what worries me. Do your worst, you tin-legged hag. Set help you if she does, Constable. That fool has no idea what he's in for. Live uncomfortably and learn, I suppose. Oh, most certainly. Baldan can't have accomplished all this by himself. Erasing records? Accessing derelict sections of the Fundament? These aren't the acts of a simple myrrh. Someone helped him. Now it's just a matter of finding out who. I do, one way or another. For now, let's celebrate your achievement. You showed initiative, creativity, bravery, all qualities befitting a servant of Set. You shall have my sponsorship. Of course, each of them played a role in your success, and each of them will share the rewards. Go speak to the Clockwork Registrar in the Chancel of Records. It will add your name to the Codices, and you'll be one of us. Again, you have my thanks. You'll regret this. Mark me, Proctor. You will regret this. I doubt that.
unwind the gears. Please state your business or depart. Welcome, potential resident. Please speak your birth name, followed by the name of your sponsor. Dreaming. Torch bugs. Overturned jar. Sponsorship confirmed and archived. The light of knowledge so the seal welcomes you to the brass fortress. Go forth and create. Well, I'd say that all worked out splendidly. As one journey ends, another begins. I imagine there's much more to discover here in Sothasil's clockwork city. I can finally begin my exploration in earnest. Now that we've earned our citizenship, I can apply for excavation permits, antiquity transportation licenses. Oh dear. Come to think of it, I might not be able to begin for quite some time. They proved useful. Reynor's theories need some work, and Kira's refusal to listen to reason caused me no small measure of anxiety. But on the whole, satisfactory. Provided that they follow my lead, I might call on them again in the future. I value your service and partnership, Assistant. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. If I understand the bureaucracy correctly, I may be here in the Brass Fortress for a while. Feel free to seek me out, should you require my aid. <laughs>